My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a medium-sized tech company in Silicon Valley. Previously, I was a financial analyst, a financial journalist, and a research engineer in telecommunications. And uh, we are approaching the holiday season here. Uh, Hanukkah is on the 24th through the 1st, very neatly dovetailing with the uh, Christian holiday season. Um, and uh, I've been thinking of my establishment friends, uh, people that I won't be seeing this Christmas season, most likely that are too uh, upset um, about probably the Clinton loss uh, and perhaps blame me along with many others uh, for that. <clears throat> um, and um, one of these uh, folk, which would be a friend of my father who went to a very good university with him uh they went to uh harvard together um and uh dad came from oregon uh to harvard and uh was the first in his family to attend such an august institution and uh his friend uh uh, asked me what I thought about whether I would work with a person like a General Allen, who is a guy who gave a very uh, uh, patriotic and jingoistic speech uh, at the Democratic Convention, which I thought lacked humility, uh, considering we have committed a series of war crimes in Iraq and uh, Libya and uh, Syria and many, many other places, the illegal mining of Nicaragua's harbors. Uh, etc. Uh, for those whose memory goes so far back. Um, and um, the question is, uh, does one revel in being anti-establishment once one becomes sort of opposed to the way things are being uh, decided in this world? Uh, and after long thought and carrying it to the extreme, which is to say at one point I was so upset that I wanted uh, so many uh, important, highly placed people to be replaced, to fall, uh, to be taken to account. Uh, so we had Obama who has aligned himself with surveillance law uh, right away uh, after talking about transparency. Uh, and he still hasn't explained uh, or reconciled that. Uh, so uh, there is uh, impunity thus far for Obama for not even to account for a markedly different uh, administrative approach than a uh, rhetoric on the campaign trail, which is a betrayal of his followers, is the way it feels, of course, uh, the impunity of the people who conducted the Iraq war and uh, have the finest medical treatment in the world, live as long as possible, as healthily as possible. Henry Kissinger, who is indirectly responsible or directly responsible for the massacre of millions in Indonesia, uh, and uh, in Cambodia and Vietnam and many, many other places, perhaps having, uh, you know, it was before his time when I think uh, we got rid of the best hope of Africa, Patrice Lumumba, and it, Africa would be a very different place today if uh, Lumumba had not been put down by the Western intelligence agency. Imagine a functional Africa might have happened. Uh, the impunity, no one going to jail for the financial crisis, uh, uh, for torture, for surveillance, for removing fundamental constitutional rights without even really mentioning that it's being done in the NDAA, a uh, right to a trial, uh, habeas corpus, uh, the right to be confronted with your accusers, the right to a trial, uh, the right to uh, 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 privacy, uh, all these things uh, in a culture of impunity. And then, uh, you know, for each of us, there were certain things that burned. Uh, for me, it was uh, Clinton's laughing at the death of Gaddafi uh, after uh, five months. Uh, you know, I was initially supportive of uh, democratization of, Ch of Libya. But when I started studying it, I, you know, I found out my own ignorance about Libya, which is that Libya had the highest development metrics in Africa. Uh, it didn't need to be destroyed, it needed to be reformed, uh, and it could have been if it hadn't been subjected to some kind of a playbook and uh, 
There was a uh, article in the mainstream press uh, taking Obama to task back in 2011, even saying that this whole business about this massacre that would stay in the country of the world was not uh, that Obama himself did not believe what he was saying. That he knew that these were lines written for him, and he was willing to act them out on stage. But uh, this is not what he would have said to you in a closed door meeting. The real fact was that the rebellion, as uh, an armed resistance was potentially in danger of failing right in the middle of an operation to uh, take the government down. And they weren't about to pull their chips off the table. And in a risk game, if you ever played a game of conquer the world or risk, Libya was a rich country with just one army on it. So it was just taken. And there's been no accountability for that. It's uh, uh, the several people from Libya have stated they heard that it was the French intelligence that ordered that Gaddafi be executed because actually that scene where he's being dragged and stabbed, uh, he isn't dead. Uh, he was not dead at that time. He was shot dead later. We don't see that. Uh, and the uh, drain pipe they claim he was hauled out, it was not a drain pipe. It was not a rat. It was a great aqueduct that had been built, the greatest uh, water project in Libya. And I just think it should uh, set the record straight. Uh, so there's a lot of historical, uh, history is a big victim in all of this, and uh, we have all of this impunity. So then you turn your eye to study this uh, meritocracy of these uh, captains of industry, the oligarchs, and they fund their think tanks and their research institutes. and. Uh, uh, and you see the common denominator for Obama and Bush and all the cabinets. There was a Dutch sociologist who did a study on it. Is most of them were in the CFR and similar type of organizations. And these are relatively conservative uh, think tanks that were funded by Rockefeller. And the Rockefellers of today, I don't, th I think, are probably more liberal than the CFR uh, because uh, they've come out very hard, at least on. Uh, divestment from Rockefeller-based oil company, ExxonMobil, and uh, I think that's who it ended up being. Uh, so there's this meritocracy and there's a dearth of voices on uh, for social justice. Uh, voices like uh, Gandhi or Martin Luther King, maybe those guys are never on these uh, steering committees. Uh, voices, uh, you know, like Bernie Sanders even, although, uh, Bernie is not perfect uh, on what he espouses. He has been a bit soft uh, about uh, confronting the military industrial, focusing rather on its uh, corporate head, Wall Street. Um, so these, uh, you know, these organizations do not have passionate advocates of the people uh, on, on them by and large. Uh, and, uh, they tend to uh, be somewhat insular. Uh, but I don't want to just heap abuse on these people. You can go through the list. There's some pretty, uh, you know, there's some very hawkish people, uh, some very nationalistic people, and uh, some people that are very invested in this very deeply in e unequal empire that has not been delivering for its rank and file citizenry since 1970. Hello, wake up, you're failing. Um, so the CASUS, uh, the, the list of grievances that I've listed, you could be a uh, conservative and share many of these grievances or a liberal or a libertarian or an anarchist. I mean, they're, these are the process by which people become alienated and there's a certain and then there are the big interests that hijack the alienation, uh, you could say. So Fox News lip syncs uh, outraged indignation at the ruling class, but it's just uh, playing a game between two branches. Uh, it's, you know, the uh, Montagues and the Capulets. It's just two ruling families and their extensions, uh, it can feel like at times. Uh, so it's a fake distinction between CNN and Fox Fundamentally, you end up with the same uh, 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 end result, which is the rich get rich and the poor get poorer, and the planet itself uh, crumbles uh, very rapidly. I mean, where I'm standing right now might be underwater in a hundred years, and I thought that I built on a hill. I'm 
55 feet above sea level, and that might not be enough. So uh, the question is, uh, do we want to see this meritocracy fall? Uh, and um, the Goldman Sachs uh, uh, group, uh, Robert Rubin group, you know, it's very funny, all this thing about the Hamilton electors and all this crap. Uh, you know, the Hamiltonians uh, were the conservative aristocratic oligarchs of their day. Uh, so, it, and Robert Rubin has funded this Hamilton project. So, uh, I'm more uh, amenable to Jeffersonianism, where I think we should all be independent, so we don't need a central system. Uh, and I think the technology can enable uh, decentralization. Um, but there are some some issues about how do you protect the the weak from the strong. Um, and uh, what sort of compacts and covenants do you have? But uh, I do think we can have the 21st century equivalent of the yeoman freeholder today. And that person, uh, this would end up having to be something that was tackled at a community level where a community, you could have, uh, make sure that, you know, you take a county, you got 100,000 people in the county, have you got uh, adequate land for farming, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, housing, uh, and you essentially recolonize your own county where people end up not paying any property taxes in a, uh, in a theoretical world. They could be, uh, uh, have a house with a access to farm and uh, so they could, uh, uh, and, and some basic things and be unalienated and not be uh, manipulable. And that was a root of Jefferson's idea that people think is obsolete now. Um, but you do need empowered individuals that are not alienated. So that's the way Je Jefferson described it. And Marx uh, got upset uh, and radicalized, I would say, uh, from his studies of uh, the way the English peasantry were driven off of their land and then criminalized for being homeless. Uh, and uh, you, you had an, an entire way of life there, an agrarian way of life, of farming way of life, of you know, 80, 90% of the population or something like that. And suddenly they were all driven off their land because uh, sheep, for example, don't require the same intensive amount of labor. Um, for, uh, so it's very land hungry and there's a very low ratio of workers to acres in use. So, uh, so he became radicalized there and he looked at alienation, meaning that what capital wants is uh, the movement of uh, uh, capital, well, you want people that uh, cannot uh, demand high wages. Uh, you want people that uh, are uh, uh, willing to be exploited, I guess. Uh, and uh, it's a cruel fact. Uh, and uh, so alienation comes in many forms, but it, uh, this is also the idea of becoming any establishment. And then the question is, uh, who do you really vote for? Um, do you vote for uh, General Allen and Hillary Clinton against Vladimir Putin and uh, Xi? Uh, uh, what would the world look like if the US Western uh, influence actually did collapse? Um, and I don't think the world would be uh, ready uh, for such an implosion, but that's a paternalistic attitude. Uh, but it, it's an attitude where you have to ask the entire fabric of our entire Western civilization, is it worth preserving with its warts by peacefully changing it from within? But how do you peacefully change from within institutions that are so uh, uh, insular and uh, 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 so uh, aloof, uh, like the Council on Foreign Relations, these institutions that seem to form the fabric of the people who run the policy of Wall Street, uh, the corporate world, and the uh, uh, and the federal uh, government. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> so you have to ask yourself how, uh, what you know, be careful what you wish for. And obviously, what we wish for is to get the voices into these councils or to create new councils uh, uh, or to be able to sweep them aside by having uh, 
inspired idealistic people, you know, take control of the two parties and fix them to run to create a more equitable and just and peaceful and less corrupt world. So that's sort of my thoughts of the night. If you care to find them beneficial, I thank you. My name is Alexander Hagan. Good night and good luck. Thank you. 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 Thank